Hi guys, it's 3 a.m. July the 2nd and my water just broke. I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, you guys, I'm in my room. I'm having contractions, but they're not too bad. They're like at a, a five. Oh, I'm excited, you guys. I'm ready to push. What time is it? 4.15. It's 4.15. My contractions are three minutes away. They're every three minutes, but they're not too bad yet. Chunky. There's Chunky. Hi, Chunky. There's Daddy. Baby's bed. Yeah, baby gotta come out. Yeah, baby gotta come out. Yeah, he's so excited to see me. Yeah. Hey, hey, mommy. So they have me um, hooked up. They're they're monitoring the baby's heartbeat and my contractions. So it's 5 a.m. They have a, I have an IV now. Um, they have monitoring my heart rate. Um, baby girl had a, a bowel movement in me. So they, they're, um, well, they say because the, because she had a bowel movement, they gotta do what? Special care nurse. They had to have a special care nurse since so she had a bad mood. So you guys, they moved me to my right side because every time I have a contraction, I stop breathing. I don't know why I hold my breath. I guess because of the pain, whatever. It makes me hold my breath. So they move me to my right side because uh, by me holding my breath, it's causing the baby to um, her heart to dip. So they have to put me on my right side so I can, you know, breathe better and so her heart will not dip. Okay, you guys, my water broke at 3 a.m. And it's 6.45 a.m. And I'm dilated to, what you say? I'm dilated to a three. And they just inserted the servidil in, into my private area. It hurt real bad when they put it in. It hurts every time they check to see how far I'm dilated. Uh, the cervidale is to thin out my cervix. And um, I have to have it in for 12 hours. And then after the 12 hours, they're going to give me Pitocin. Um, they, they, they insert it into my cervix. Well, yeah. And it's like the size of a shoestring, but it still hurts because they they have to thread it in, and that hurts getting it threaded in. You guys, I'm trying to be strong and I'm trying to remember to breathe, but every time I have contraction or every time they do something to me, like thread something inside my private area it hurts and it it causes me to hold my breath but I'm trying to be strong Chunky she's telling me mommy be brave I'm trying to be brave you guys but yeah they told me with this being the second you know second 
childbirth, uh, it should go faster. So, if the baby comes before the 12 hours, that's good. Uh, that's if I feel have the urge to to poop, like if the urge to push and poop, they said that that means the baby is coming and they're gonna come in and check me. They're still gonna check me every hour. Mm -hmm. So every hour they're gonna come in and check me. And uh, I hope this goes really fast, you guys, because it, it hurts being checked, you guys. Y'all know how I feel about being checked. <sighs> okay, so that several, that several thing that they insert into me <clears throat> is making my contractions come back to back back to back and I'm trying to breathe through them and this has got my back and my hips hurting you guys hopefully this dilates me really really fast and I can go ahead and push I'm ready so you guys I had to I had to pee and the only way I could pee, since my water broke, was inside of a a little, what was it, a bowl? A bedpan. A bedpan. Y'all know that I struggle to pee in a cup. So to pee in a bedpan while you're laying down was hard. They had to slide up under me. And, uh, I don't know, I have gas. Like, the contraction is giving me gas. So I was scared to pee because I was scared I was going to poop. But I had to pee really bad so the pee just started, you know, flowing out. It, it felt weird laying in the bed and peeing in the bedpan. It was really weird, but I had to pee. So I peed in the bedpan. And these contractions are still coming back to back. It's, it's 7.55 right now, 7.55 a.m. You guys, oh, these contractions are coming hard and fast. Oof. Okay, you guys, you know when I took that strip B uh, test last week, they um, they haven't had time enough to get the results back, the results back from it. So they're gonna go ahead and start me on the. Uh, the medicine for it, you know, just in case if I do have it, the baby will be protected. So, they have that going in my IV now. Um, still having contractions. They're getting stronger. It's 9.50 right now. Still waiting. So you guys, um, I felt like I had to poop, so I told the nurse, and they came in, and, you know, they got the bedpan, and she was like, well, we need to check and make sure it's not the baby's head that you're feeling. So they checked me, and they checked to see if I was dilated. Y'all know that they hurt like crazy. But when they checked me, the the cervical, what that thing called? Cervical. The who? Cervical. The cervical came out. So they said they're going to start me on another kind of medicine. As long as they don't have to put that thing back in me. So I'm dilated to a four now. And it is. 10 10 a.m. The contractions are still pretty bad. You guys. Okay, they started me on the Pitocin at 11:15. It's supposed to make my contractions stronger. And I'm not ready for strong contractions, but I guess I don't have a choice. 
the Pitocin. It has my contractions stronger and closer together. Before the Pitocin, my contractions were five minutes apart. But now they're even closer. And they make me feel like I have to poop. I really need to go to the bathroom. They won't let me go to the bathroom because my water broke. But I feel like I need to go to the bathroom. I have to. I have to pee, and I feel like I have to poop. Hey guys, they uh, removed one of the monitors off my belly, and they put a monitor on the inside of me. It's uh, it's 2:40 p.m. and they said they put it uh inside of me because it uh, be able to. What they say? Down, I don't, I don't monitor your uh, being down, contractions. Okay. It'll mo it monitor oh, the contractions better. Say hello. Hey, like, hey guys, I love you. <laughs> so the the one that's on the inside monitors the contractions better. Um, they check to see how much I'm dilated. Um, I'm still at a four. So yeah. Oh, yeah.